Hi everyone, I'm Gina Philibert Ortega for Genealogy Bank. Are you ready to become a Genealogy Bank expert? You know, in order to get the results that you need, you need to know how to search the website and how to search it so that you find ancestors. Searching on the website is much more than trying one name and not finding what you need and moving on from there. You need to be able to search variations of a name. And in the case of women, that might be variations of her husband's name as well. Let me show you what I mean, and let me show you one of the first steps in becoming an expert in searching Genealogy Bank. Let's go over to the website and let me show you an example from my own family history. So before we get started on searching, let's talk a little bit about what I'm going to search on. And actually, when you do your searching, you should try different variations of your ancestor's name. So I'm going to choose one of my ancestors, and this is actually my second great-grandmother. Her name was Marie Anne Buffard. She was alive from 1864 to 1943. Now, she spent most of her life in Canada, but uh, quite a few of her adult years when she was married, she was here in uh, the United States. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in Marie and then Buffard, and then I'm going to hit search. So that's all I'm going to do to start with. Okay, so there's 95 results. Now, I can tell you that I've already gone through these and, um, you know, I'm not seeing what I wanted to see. So let me go ahead and narrow the search down. 95 is not a lot, but it still might be a little bit too many. Let me go with Massachusetts because that's where she lived in the United States. Remember, Genealogy Bank has newspapers from the United States, so I'm not going to find anything from her life in Canada. So I'm going to update the results. Okay, so there's 40 results now. So, you know, that's, that's a little bit more reasonable. And I can go through here and see if any of them are for her. Now, I can tell you I've already done that, and they aren't. So I need to think up a different plan. Now, I could go back to the search engine. In fact, let's go back to the home page. I could try Marie and Buffard and see what happens. Now, Buffard was her maiden name. And I didn't search for her married name. Now, why didn't I do that? Because when she lived in the United States, it was as a married woman. And most likely, you know, this is a time period where women used their husband's name. So they were Mrs. whatever his name was. So I wanted to initially see if I could find anything about her parents or her siblings by using her maiden name. And that didn't work out this time. So let me try a different tactic. Because I'm looking at a married woman, let me put and search by her husband's name. So his name was Pierre Philibert. So I'm searching on her husband. I'm not going to search on her. So let me click on search. Okay, so 53 results. So that's better. Let me go ahead and once again, I, I can go through 53, but let's go ahead and look at how many are for Massachusetts. So only, only five. So that's really reasonable, right? So I notice here in the thumbnail of this result, it says Pierre Philibert, and it's for Springfield, Massachusetts. Now, I don't think she lived in Springfield, but let me check it out just in case. All right, so we see right there, Mrs. Pierre Philibert. Let me go ahead and let me see what this is about. Okay, so this is basically an obituary or some kind of article about a death. And you can see that it's titled Mrs. Lemieux 
uh, d dies of motor injuries. It's about a woman who um, died of some injuries that had to do with a car. Now, if I scroll down and go back to where we see Mrs. Pierre Philibert, and it says Mrs. Pierre Philibert of Lowell. Now, I'm pretty sure she did live in Lowell. In fact, she worked at the mills at one point. And as I look at these other names, even though I don't recognize Lemieux, uh, there are some other names that I do recognize, and those are ones I recognize as siblings of Murray. And so um, as I go and analyze this article, it becomes obvious that this is a sister who I wasn't aware of and uh, also who married someone that I was not aware of. So I did find my Marie by looking for her husband's name. So when we think about women, we've got to look at all the different ways that we can research them. Now, I only found five results for Pierre, and all the results I tried with Marie, with her initials, with her middle name, I didn't find anything. Now, that's okay, because Genealogy Bank is constantly adding newspapers, and, you know, as I look through and see what's available, it's possible in the future that they will add newspapers for the places that my Philibert family lived, specifically Marie and Pierre. And so I'm gonna find stuff. So keep in mind when you do searches, you, not only, you should never just search on one name. You should always try variations of their names. And if it's a woman, make sure you search by her husband's name as well. I hope that helps. And think about it this way. We went to search on Marie Buffard. And so we tried her name, Marie. We tried Marie Anne. Uh, I tried initials. And then I looked at her husband's name and tried his name. Now, I could have gone from there as well. I could have tried just maybe a surname. I could have tried if I knew a nickname. I could try uh, doing uh, quite a few different things in order to find what I need. Always search on more than one variation of your ancestor's name and know that over time more newspapers are added and so you have to go back and search again. Good luck with your searches and becoming a genealogy bank expert.